Ladies and gentlemen, our 90 minutes uh, debate is up. It's time for our closing statements. And we begin with you, Honorable Rigathi. You have your two minutes starting now. Thank you very much. I want to ask us to ask the people of Kenya to give us a chance to sort them out and put money in their pocket. You want to ask the people of Kenya to give us a chance to empower the small business people by giving them affordable credit to be able to expand their businesses. I want to ask all those people with pending bills to know that in the first 90 days, we shall float a bond for 500 billion to pay all the pending bills so that their homes are not auctioned. And by action, that 500 billion, by injecting to the economy, it will, it will spice up the economy. I want to tell the people of Kenya, by giving us a chance, we shall look at the terms of service for the public service and the police who are suffering and who need to work when they are comfortable. I want to tell the people of Kenya to give us a chance to bring reforms to the NHIF program so that every Kenyan has an NHIF card so that when you go to hospital, you are able to be treated and go home free. I want to ask the people to know, the people of Kenya, that William Ruto and I have a plan for them. I want them to give us an opportunity to work around this economy, to spearhead the third liberation, that is to bring economic changes so that we can create wealth, we can make the people of Kenya wealthy, we can give every Kenyan an opportunity to make a living, we can give every Kenyan an opportunity to make and live a good life. We want to ask them that on the 9th of August to come and foot for change a change to bring about economic development, a change to restore their dignity and to improve their quality of life. Thank you very much and good evening. Thank you. Honorable Karua, your two minutes start I now. I want to remind Kenyans this election is about trust. It's about looking to see which 